Hi, I'm Jason Murray with Murray Racing, out here for the Can-Am Thanksgiving event at UTV Underground in Glamis, California. We're going to break down our Can-Am Maverick desert race car. The key to a good desert car is the wheelbase. Can-Am gives us an awesome platform to start with. That 4 c platform, game changer, nine day difference. You've got to have that extra wheelbase to get to those whoops at high speed, keep the car level, and keep us competitive out there against the competition. What we do is take the stock Can-Am 4-seat Maverick and we tube it from the ground up to meet with BITD and score rules. We try to keep the vehicle as stock as possible. We take the two seats out of the back, we keep the two seats in the front, we lower the seats down a little bit to help us uh, get a lower center of gravity in the vehicle. Gives us a little extra leg room for us big guys. And now we have a two-seat Can-Am Maverick Max race car for BITD and score. And we're also going to run in King of the Hammer. Can-Am builds an awesome vehicle. They start with that Rotax engine, puts out tons of power. What we do is we've been running with that thing stock for the last year and a half. Now we're working with Yoshimura to build it up a little bit to get some much power out of that thing. You know, the competition's growing every day, and we gotta keep up or, or be one step ahead, otherwise we're gonna fall behind. And with Yoshimura, we're able to add a little horsepower to it to help keep us uh, in the pace with some of the faster cars out in our class. Our suspension's built by Lone Star. The build is an awesome setup. We've been running it now in all of our races, the best in the desert and score. We've had no suspension failures. The thing soaks up the whoops. And we're running the Fox Podium Shocks. It takes the bumps like no problem, and it keeps our heads from bobbing all over the place. <laughs> this year, ITP stepped up, made us an awesome tire with the Ultra Cross. Again, we've been running in best in the desert and score all season. This baby only had two flats all year. It's an awesome tire. It's got an eight ply a nice truck tire tread, and it keeps us moving through the desert. To meet the safety requirements for Best in the Desert Square, we had to add a couple things to our Can Am Maverick Max. We had to add a safety net, some lights, fuel cell, harnesses. We had a GPS to keep us on the track, things of that nature. All things are pretty basic to install. It just depends on how far you want to go with it. The funnest part of desert racing is the competition. You come out and compete against other manufacturers, other people. It's such a great group of guys out here racing in the desert. The other part that's fun to me is just doing it with my brother. We, we run a couple businesses together, and it's always a grind, but when we get to come out here, play in the dirt, we're all having a good time, and it's all smiles. Two can get on the track and go out here and race. I mean, I'm a perfect example of that. Five years ago, I really wasn't doing much as far as racing is concerned. We got into this, we started doing well, we got our feet wet. Next thing you know, we're singing with Can-Am, racing for these guys, and having a great time out here in Glamis. It's been an epic adventure. That's my Can-Am Maverick Max. Let's go have some fun in the dunes. <laughs>